This is the 2012 Nautic Star 2200 XS center console. And let's give you a shot of our hull. And some real nice bow flare as I walk you down the starboard side. Give you a good feel for this gel coat. 2012, it's just in perfect shape. And walk you down the port. And here's a view of this Yamaha 200 four stroke. It also has a Yamaha cover with it. I'll give you a shot of these trim tabs. And let's go ahead and give you a look around. And here on the aft, if I open up here, you're going to see a nice shower to rinse off as you come in the boat. And then tucked right in it behind the engine, you'll see the owner's fenders. Then if I move over here to the port side, and give you a view inside. You have a live well. And if I move back over to the starboard side, you'll see your entryway door there. And if I take another step back, that'll give you a good shot of comfortable aft seating for your guests. And then we go ahead with a simple adjustment and your aft seating has quickly disappeared and now you have a nice open cockpit for fishing. And over on your starboard side you're going to see your battery switch, also you'll see your wash down. And then if we move over to starboard and port you'll see rod storage. And if we go ahead and move above that you'll see your cup holders, your rod holders both on port and on starboard. And if I go ahead and face forward That'll bring us up to our leaning post. And you'll see in back of the leaning post, you have your rocket launchers. And let me go ahead and turn around and give you a full view of this leaning post. Plenty of room for captain and first mate. And then underneath, you'll see your big cooler and, of course, your footrest. And that will lead us to our helm. Start here at the top. And if you open up here, you'll see your electronics box. Plenty of room to add something if you'd like to. But right now he has a VHF, plus his manuals are stored up there. Down below you'll see your compass and your mirror. Move down below that, you'll see your Garmin GPS map 740S. Down below that you'll see your USB input. Move towards the center and your remote control for your stereo and your trim tabs. And directly in front of the captain you'll see all your gauges. If we move down, you'll see your cup holders down below that. You'll see all your switches for your boat. And then down below you'll see storage both open and closed. And if we go ahead and back up, that'll be your helm. And then if we move forward, open up here, and you're going to see your marine head. This marine head, very spacious, equipped with a porta potty If I go ahead and close that, that will bring us up to our bow. And if I go ahead and walk forward and turn around, that will show you a forward facing spreader light. Down below your comfortable seating in front of the console. And then if I go ahead and I open up, you're going to see your second live well. Then if I go ahead and face forward, you'll see your big sun pad. And the great thing about this sun pad is, if you go ahead and open up and you lift up, the cushion comes right with it, gives you access. And of course you can just take these cushions right off if you're fishing. And that's on both sides. Open up. Right now the owner uses them for storage. And then directly in the center you'll see cup holders. And if I go ahead and step back and open up here, you'll see right now he's got the wash down hoses in there. And if I go ahead and move all the way forward and open up here, you'll see your anchor storage. And that will lead us to this beautiful hard top T-top. As I mentioned before, there's a spreader light facing forward. Also, you'll see the clips there. 
for the console cover to clip to that you'll see in the pictures but it's just in great condition has an electronics box storage for life preservers and if I go ahead show you the aft you'll see your rear facing spreader lights plus your rocket launchers just in great shape and now's the time of the video where I give a condition report and name opportunities for the new owner to make this boat even better uh, this boat shows exactly like a 2012 Nautic Star 22 should the gel coats in great shape the vinyls in great shape outfitted with a Yamaha 200 four stroke it's got the right fishing equipment on it good electronics everywhere you look the boat just shows like a 2012 that's been kept in high and dry its entire life if I were going to name opportunities for the new owner to make this boat even better the only thing I can think of is a professional detailer it'll look like new when he gets done with it so that would be the only opportunity I see for this 2012 Nautic Star it just shows very well and seems like it was very well cared for